Hello there. This is a short summary of our recent work, LNNAV, Robotic Navigation with Large Pre-trained Models of Language, Vision, and Action. I'm Dhruv, and this is joint work with my collaborators, Guaje, Brian, and Sergey. We consider the task of navigational instruction following from high-level natural language commands, such as these directions to the office given by Alice, and ecocentric visual observations available to the robot. Our system can parse such free-form instructions by grounding them into its past knowledge of the environment using pre-trained models of language, vision, and control. Our system, coined LNNAV, or Large Model Navigation, comprises of three large pre-trained models. A large language model, that can parse and translate text but has no sense of visual grounding, a vision and language model that can ground images and text but has no context of embodiment, and lastly, a visual navigation model that can control the robot from visual observations. The visual navigation model consists of a goal condition distance function and policy. Given a bunch of observations in the target environment, the VNM distance function is used to infer connectivity between them and construct a topological graph of the environment. In parallel, the large language model is used to parse the natural language instruction into a sequence of landmarks that can serve as intermediary sub-goals for the instruction. For this example instruction, the picnic bench, stop sign, the blue dumpster, and the blue truck are the extracted landmarks. The VLM, which in our case is CLIP, is used to crown the robot's visual observations in landmark phrases. The VLM infers a joint probability distribution over the landmark descriptions and images which form nodes of the topological graph constructed earlier by the navigation model. Using this probability distribution and inferred graph connectivity, a novel search algorithm is used to retrieve an optimal plan in the environment that satisfies the instruction. This plan is then executed by the co-condition policy which is a part of the visual navigation model. Putting it all together, the freeform textual instructions are parsed by the language model into a series of textual landmarks, and the robot observations are processed by the navigation model into a topological graph. The VLM combines these by inferring a joint probability distribution that aligns the two modalities. The score is used by a novel graph search algorithm that derives an optimal plan from the graph, which is then executed by the navigation model. The navigation model operates solely on the robot's egocentric images and no global information is used. Note that all models are pre-trained and deployed with frozen weights. There is no fine tuning in the target environment. Let's look at some examples of LNNAV in action. As a legend, the central frame shows a third person video of our system in action. At the top right is instruction given by the user, which is the input to the language model. At the bottom right, we show the robot's egocentric observations captured by an onboard forward facing RGB camera. At the bottom left is the visualization of the trajectory taken by the robot overlaid on a satellite image. Note that the third-person video and overhead image are not available to our system and are, and are shown here solely for visualization of LNNAV's behavior. At the top left, we also keep track of the landmarks visited by our system as time progresses. For the example instruction shown earlier, here is LNNAV navigating in a complex real-world environment. The language model parses instruction into landmarks, such as the stop sign, which is later used by the search algorithm to find a path in the topological graph. LNNAV is able to successfully visit all the landmarks commanded by the instruction and reach the glass building. For another instruction shown here, LNF follows a similar recipe. Parsing the instructions into prominent landmarks such as the large white house and the white truck here on its way to the goal. We use the pre-trained clip vision and language model without any fine-tuning on the robot's observations. LNF is able to identify landmarks from these observations shown at the bottom right and find a path to the goal, here a stop sign, that visits all of the landmarks. Language is an inherently ambiguous means of task specification, and there may be multiple paths in the environment that satisfy the given instructions. In such cases, an instruction following system must be able to disambiguate paths in the environment using fine-grained modifications to the instruction. In this case, consider a clarification to the path by Bob, who specifies an additional landmark 
to provide information regarding which path to take. Commanding LMNAV to follow this modified instruction, we notice that the system navigates to the first two landmarks identically, but then reacting to the additional information chooses a different path in the environment that visits a square with a large tree in the middle, satisfying the new instruction. Continuing forward, this new path terminates in the same position as before, a stop sign. Comparing the paths taken by LMNAV in the environment for the two different instructions, we see that our system can disambiguate Alice and Bob's instructions and finds two different paths in the environment that successfully follow these instructions. Thanks for your interest in our work. Please check out the project page for links to the full text article, more experiment videos, code, and an interactive collab to run our experiments.